Evil Dead movies. All right. Um, I, I, I really love, like, I, I love Evil Dead. I like what they're doing. I like 2013. I liked Evil Dead Rise. So, I mean, I'm down for it. Maybe they got a good idea. You know, what do I know? Um, just a couple months after we learned um, Sebastian Vanacek infested, now streaming on Shutter. Check that out, guys. I just watched it right before this stream. And I recorded my review right before the stream. I'm going to edit it right after this stream. Um, damn good spider movie. And I did not know that he's directing the next Evil Dead. Now I'm hella interested because he's a damn good director. Damn good director. Let me switch over to you guys real quick. How many of you have not seen Infested yet? Have you seen it? Yes, no. Yes, no. Give me. Have you seen Infested yet? Do you have Shudder? Okay. What's up, Chris? How you doing, Fluff? Nice to see you. Um, uh, Driller Killer, I have, I've definitely heard of that. Not yet, no. Yes, Brandon saw it. Uh, Yo, Libro, what's your most anticipated unknown upcoming horror? Unknown? <laughs> I mean, um, my most anticipated is easily Maxine. I'll tell you that right now. Easily Maxine. Thank you for asking, uh, Beast of Darkness. Um, uh, I can't watch anything with spider. Yeah, and I'll say right now, guys, if you get freaked out by spiders, you might not want to watch this movie, okay? I mean, in real life, I get freaked out by spiders, but I I like watching them in movies. And uh, this might be this might be the best spider movie I've uh, I've ever seen. It's that creepy, and it's good. It's so well directed too. So I I would urge you guys to watch this movie. It's so good, and uh, it's gonna go in my. Um, my May to August top 10 that I'll be doing in August. This will be like the, the line has been cut. This will be the first movie, even though technically it's in April still. But yeah, I got it. Because this is definitely going to be high up in the ranking, I'm sure. Really good though. Really good. Okay. So I did not know that that director is directing the new Evil Dead. That's pretty damn cool. We've learned today that it's not even the only Evil Dead movie that's currently in the works. Deadline reports today that Ghost House Pictures has just hired Francis Galupi, the last stop in Yuma County, to direct, to write and direct yet another brand new Evil Dead movie. Deadline adds. The project is described as an original story that Galupi uh, developed and brought to Ram, uh, Ramey and team. No word on a plot or who will be producing as it's early days here. It's similarly early days for Sebastian Vanacek untitled Evil Dead movie, which we know nothing about at this time. But stay tuned for more reporting as we learn more on both films. The new course of the Evil Dead franchise is for Sam Raimi to hand select hot up and coming filmmakers to put their own spin on the Deadites, which has been working exceedingly well for the Bloody Saga. Fetty Alvarez directed his own take in 2013, which paved the way for Lee Cronin's Evil Dead Rise last year, 10 years after the remake came out. Uh, let's see if I need to read anymore. I don't think I do. Uh, Francis Galupia is the storyteller who knows when to keep us waiting in simmering tension and... Uh, so, yeah, you can read more of that if you guys want. But I'm going to go back over here uh, and give you my thoughts on this. And um, I'm, I'm all for this. because uh, uh, Two movies, I'm not... I think they should pump the brakes and let's just do one movie at a time. Uh, put the Galoopy in your back pocket and save him for later. I don't know if you want to shoot two Evil Dead movies at the same time or like one... I don't know. Um, but, you know, it sounds like they're like putting some ink on paper. Right. I, 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 and um, one thing I do love, though, absolutely love is that Sam Raimi is going after uh, these young foreign directors. It seems like it uh, quite a bit, even though I don't know if Lee Cronin, you guys may be. I don't know if he is American or not, but just it, I guess the nationality doesn't matter. Sam Raimi is you know, recognizing young, hot talent. And I think that we're only going to benefit from that because we get really good, bloody, Evil Dead movies. And I think why that suits Evil Dead, too, is because you don't really have to stick to any kind of continuity outside of the Deadites. Yeah, so Lee Cronin's Iris. Thank you, Sebastian. So, And you know what? I love foreign directors. Just because it's different, you know? And they tend to go harder in the paint with their, um, with their horror. 
and uh, like this movie Infested, it's a uh, uh, Sebastian uh, uh, Venichek. He is a French director, and boy, will you be able to see that all over the screen when you watch Infested. You know, I've reviewed a few uh, French films before, and I love them. Uh, they're just they they're unapologetic. You know, you don't have to worry about them going for it in terms of the violence. They're gonna go for it. Whereas American movies. There's a lot of times where I'm like, are they going to show anything? No, they didn't show anything. You know, it, it, that's just the way it is in American. We, we just like we get used to it, you know, like um, Five Nights at Freddy's. Right. I think that's why I was disappointed with Five Nights at Freddy's because they had gruesome things going on, but they would never show it. They, they would they you know, they had freaking like um, the, the saws, you know, that you use to like I think Jason used one in like part six or seven, seven. Yeah. You know, they're using all these crazy gnarly tools and equipment, but they don't show anything. Everything's like freaking a shadow against a wall. French directors would be like, no, no, fuck that. We're gonna, we're, we're definitely going to show that thing go in somebody's face and rip it in half. Okay, that's what we're going to do. All right, because that's how we get shit done uh, in Italy. All right. So that's why I love Italian directors. Um, but yeah, I'm all for this. You know, you don't have to keep to any continuity. The more Evil Dead, the better. Uh, you, you know a movie goes, or a franchise goes hard when the last movie, Evil Dead Rise, people called it Evil Dead Light. And maybe they're right. But you compare that movie to any other American horror movie, it's still pretty pretty bloody. Pretty damn bloody, okay? And pretty uh, graphic, too, with, like, the girl eating um, broken glass, you know? Uh, and all the blood that's just flying all over the place in the parking structure at the end of the movie, and you're calling that Evil Dead light. Okay, maybe you're right, maybe you're right, but it's still pretty pretty hardcore. Uh, 